Researchers have proved that the manipulative used by children in and outside classroom impact the learning. Children studying in early classes learn and understand better when they are provided with the opportunities through concrete learning experiences. Such learning experiences can be created in the classroom with some specially designed manipulatives. Keeping in mind the goal of enhancing the quality of teaching and learning of mathematics in classes 1 and 2, Early School Mathematics Program of Department of Elementary Education NCERT has conceptualized and developed learning materials for learning of mathematics in classes 1 and 2 under SSA quality initiatives. This learning material known as Mathematics Learning Kit has been developed keeping in mind the needs of young learners and has the features like child friendly and easy to use, child's safety about color hazardness, sharp edges or corners etc. It encourages free play and exploration. It provides learning experiences for developing understanding of key mathematical concepts. This video manual has been developed to give a glimpse of the mathematics learning kit and how to use effectively the learning material in it. To provide guidelines for doing activities with children in the classroom, some activities using these learning materials of the kit have been demonstrated. This video manual also suggests how to conduct these activities by facilitating discovery-based approach and encouraging self-learning by learners. During the field tryout, it was found that the use of these items by children and teachers resulted in better learning. As children discussed and learned from each other during the exploration in the activity. So, let's see the mathematics learning kit and explore various learning materials in it. Hello friends, young children like to come to school daily when the school environment gives enough opportunities to express and share their voice and where they get space for free play. Free play is a very important part of learning at early stage. So it becomes very important that in the classroom Young learners are provided with material for the play, free play. And it becomes more meaningful when such material becomes the part of learning as well. So, to be able to provide such friendly environment, hands-on experiences and manipulator to young learners, a very interesting learning kit is included in the Mathematics Learning Kit developed by NCERT for children of classes 1 and 2 which is called blocks. I'll show you blocks. See these are the blocks. Each block is a detachable cube which can be attached with other blocks and 
any look alike real life object can be created. Can you see this? Can you observe this? What I have created using these blocks? These blocks are in the different colors. You can see yellow, green, orange, blue and red. In each color there are 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So in total we have 50 blocks. Friends, with the help of these blocks, children can learn various mathematical concepts like numbers, number operation, place value, pattern, data handling and measurement can also be learned in a playway manner in the classroom. So, you must be thinking how learning of various important mathematical concepts can be incorporated among the children with the help of these blocks. So, let's go into the classroom and see how children are using these blocks and learning with play. Here, the objective was to provide an intuitive understanding about data handling. But you must have noticed that we nowhere used the term data handling. Children could count and note down in their notebooks in a playway manner. They used many concepts including numbers, like classifying, counting with one-to-one -one correspondence and then writing the numbers etc. So friends, we saw that how children could do activity on data handling in a playway manner. So let's move into the classroom and see how children learn while playing. Ten and two makes how many? 12. Can you show me 15 blocks? 15. Okay. Kitne blocks? 15. Okay. 40. Through this activity, somewhere, understanding of grouping in tens was focused. The activity can be repeated for various other numbers to familiarize the children with the idea of grouping in tens. For the teacher can show a table on the board and involve the children to fill the table. Such activities provide experiences to learn from other children as well. Some children initially were not able to grasp the idea, but gradually by seeing other children doing, they were also able to involve and understand accordingly. Providing such lively environment to learn 
mathematics develop interest among the children at an early stage. We hope that blocks will help in creating such a lovely environment. We believe that you will be able to create and conduct much more interesting activities in the classroom where each child is involved and learning joyfully. Hello friends, as compared to length, weight and capacity, measurement of time has to be introduced to young children with the duration of incidences or events in their daily life. Through the comparison of duration of various events and incidences, the need for a tool to measure time emerges and a clock is a tool which can help in measuring time. So. To help children learn how to read a clock, a clock has been included in Mathematics Learning Kit. A clock. This clock has a movable hour hand and a movable minute hand. Children can rotate both the hands and can show any time using this clock. At initial stage, the concept of measuring time can be introduced in context with children's daily life events or activities. For introduction in early classes, a discussion can be initiated in the classroom in which children can discuss what do they usually do at a particular time. For example, at 5 o'clock in the evening, teacher can show the given time on the clock simultaneously. Discussion can also take place on the time taken to do any activity. For example, if they go to play at 5 o'clock in the evening and come back at 7 o'clock, then how many hours did they play? And after such sharing of experiences, later another activity can be conducted in which children share and show time of some of their daily life activities on the clock. So friends, let's go to the classroom and see how children are participating. Welcome back friends, in this classroom discussion we saw how they represented the time on the clock. Reading of the clock has to be in stages. At initial stage we can talk about complete hours only and then gradually children can be introduced with half an hour using the clock and later gradually they can be introduced with minutes in which first we can discuss about quarters and gradually can introduce minutes based on their daily life experiences. How many hours you play? Ayushi, how many hours do you play? One hour. So such learning experiences will strengthen their confidence and interest towards learning of mathematics. We believe that you will be able to plan and conduct much more interesting activities in the classroom which will provide them a friendly and lively environment to learn in and thereby will contribute in improving the quality of teaching and learning of mathematics. Thank you.
Hello friends, hope you are enjoying various activities shown in other videos. Can you see this? Can you recognize this? What is this? Yes, you are right. This is a die with which we play Ludo and we enjoy a lot, don't we? Friends, imagine if we provide the dice to the children of classes 1 and 2, what will happen? You must be thinking, children of classes 1 and 2 can't play with die, can't even handle it. Friends, I request you, don't underestimate these young learners. They not just play with the dais joyfully, but they all will be learning at the same time. For providing very lively environment to the young learners, and providing opportunity to relate, play with learning. Keeping this in mind, four dyes have been included in the Mathematics Learning Kit, which is developed by NCERT for children of classes 1 and 2. Here are these. One is a regular dot die. The other one is a die like this, which has 0 to 5 numerals written on the die. And on the other one, numerals are written from 5 to 10. And on this fourth one, addition subtraction, jama, ghata, plus, minus are written. So, we can call it an operation die. So, friends, you must be excited to know how young children handle these dies and learn how we can initiate the use of die in the classroom. Just to make children familiarized with the dais into the classroom, you may start with simple activities. तो एट में से फाइव सब ट्रैक करेंगे। इनके 23 आपके 15. Who is the winner? Both. So friends, I hope that you will create many more interesting, joyful and learning activities in your classroom. Another important prerequisite of this activity is that children must have provided with lots of experiences in the classroom 
regarding the addition and subtraction using the die. Friends, we believe that you will be able to create much more lively environment in which each child is involved and learning joyfully while playing with these dyes. So keep creating and conducting interesting activities in the classroom using dyes. Many times it is observed in the classroom that children face difficulty in recognition of numerals and making number sense. It is important that children are provided with lots of experiences in which concrete materials from the surrounding has been used for the understanding of numbers. After concrete material for the understanding, it is also important to move towards semi-concrete or iconic material for strengthening of the understanding of the numbers. So friends, for this purpose, in the mathematics learning kit developed by NCERT, an important item, domino number cards, have been included. Friends, let me show you domino number cards. There are 55 domino number cards. These cards are made up of plastic. In these cards, at one side, digits from 0 to 9 are written. In combination of digits, which are making all the addition facts up to the number 9. See here, 4, 4. Digits are written in two colors. At one side, digit is written in red and at left side, digit is written in blue color. Also, the total of both the digits is 8. There are other cards which make the total 8. Can you see? I'll show you here. We can see 6 in blue color and 2 in red color, making a total 8. Friends, the most important aspect about these cards is at the back of these cards, equal number of dots is shown as the numeral shown on the other side. Here two and on the other side there are two dots. Same way, at the back of number six, here we have six dots which help the children to use iconic symbols for making the better sense of the numbers. That is why the name domino number card is given. It was observed that initially children take a lot of time to observe these cards. It is important to give enough time to the children to observe these cards before conducting any activity. Let children play freely with these cards. Also, you may conduct some activities which allow them to observe different attributes like digits, dots and colors. Do you want to know how children handle these cards? You may conduct some simple activities like making chain. Children may be given cards to look for cards having same numerals. They can place that card along the card having same numeral. Through this chain making activity, children are getting the opportunity to observe, recognize and match the numerals. Children are counting the numbers. In the field tryout, it was observed that initially children take a lot of time to observe these cards. It is important to give enough time to the children to observe these cards 
before conducting any activity. Let children play freely with these cards. Also, you may conduct some activities which allow them to observe different attributes like digits, dots and colors. Let's go into the classroom and see how these cards can facilitate and enrich the mathematics learning. The purpose of the activity was to let children recognize the dots and numerals of the domino card and encourage them to sort and classify. We saw all children were fully involved and participating, also were able to play the game. Some children observed other children how to play the game and then played the game. Children were continuously searching the cards while counting the dots again and again and they were fully engaged. Children may play like this for a few days and can develop their understanding regarding making number sense. So here I have arranged all the number cards with different combinations making all the addition facts from 0 to 9. We can see here, I told you an example when I am taking 2 and 3, making total number of dots 5. Same way, we have more combinations making total number of dots 5, like 5, 0, 0, 5 or 4, 1. We can also have 1, 4. Any other combination? Is it possible? That's it for number 5. In this activity, Recognition of dots or numeral will help for further understanding about number sense. Friends, we hope that you will conduct much more interesting activities using domino number cards and thereby creating a joyful learning environment. Thank you. Hello friends, as most of the items of mathematics learning kit have been developed keeping in mind the various important mathematical concepts of classes 1 and 2. We also know that pattern is one of the important mathematical concepts and young learners must be introduced with this in a friendly manner. So friends, patterns can be introduced in the classroom by showing patterns in our surroundings like patterns in buildings, grills, in our clothes. So friends, young learners can be introduced with small daily life activities. As number patterns is an important concept, keeping this in mind, another learning kit item has also been developed. That is number cards. Can you observe these? Numbers have been printed from 1 to 50. You can see here different colors are there. These numbers are in 5 different colors which repeat in a sequence of 5. You can see here. As we know that children go for color sequence first whenever we ask them for making any choices. So, they can see pattern in colors and because of the color, pattern in numbers can also be seen. Can you observe? There is a pattern in each card of same color and so on. So, why to wait? Let's peep into a classroom and see how children handle 
these cards. Number cards provide opportunity to play with written form of numbers. Children recognizing the numbers and speaking out their number name. During the play, if any student is hesitant, he or she will learn it from his or her peers. So friends, we saw in the activity that children are reciting again and again numbers and colors and thereby strengthening the recognition of number. You can ask children to make their own number cards so that such activity can be conducted in the crowded classes as well. Let's again go back into the classroom and see what else children are exploring. Here, it is important to give enough time to the learner for exploration and observation. Here, teacher can assess the children that they know the order of the numbers and can recite in sequence. Based on the colors of number cards, students can be initiated into the world of number pattern. Also, they can learn about comparison of the numbers. So friends, we just saw in the classroom how children got involved on their own. Did you enjoy this activity? Hope your children would also enjoy. Friends, it is important here that each child is unique and different. Each has their own pace of learning. So we cannot expect the same with each child. Some children may take more time to grasp the idea of the activity. Some learn through peers, watching them doing and then repeating. So friends, you may have to repeat the activity in the classroom according to the child level. In this way, you may initiate the learning, the pattern in numbers in your classrooms. Hello friends. Most of the time, it has been observed that gradually children are able to grasp number sense up to number 9. That too, if children are provided with lots of experiences in different contexts for making sense of the numerals exposed to them and gradually are able to recite, recognize, write, add and subtract up to 9. But when number 10 and then 11, 12 and so on, two digit numbers are introduced, children are not able to grasp the concept and start making mistakes. While recognizing, writing or adding and subtracting. Friends, there's a very important mathematical concept in which most of the children make mistakes or show improper understanding. Can you guess which mathematics concept I am talking about? Yes, you are guessing correctly. 
it is place value. Friends, sometimes casual behavior while teaching in the classroom may give wrong message to the children in the form of misleading or half understanding about any mathematical concept. So, it becomes all the more important that various activities and experiences should be provided in different context so that such important understanding can be strengthened from the very beginning. Friends, in the classroom, it has been observed that most of the children face problem in place value. Place value is a very important mathematical concept. Lack of understanding in the beginning leads to greater difficulties and fear among the children of classes 3rd, 4th and 5th. So, it becomes the most important that each child grasp the understanding of place value and applies in their daily life easily. Keeping this in mind, in mathematics learning kit, a very interesting learning item is included, that is place value cards. Can you observe these cards? These cards are available in three different sizes. These smaller size cards in ones Numerals from 1 to 9 are written on them. On the middle size cards, 10, 20, 30, up to 90 numbers are written. And on the biggest size cards, 100, 200, 300, up to 900 numbers are written. These are total 27 cards. So, friends, Look at these cards carefully. Now, I will show you how I will form a number 67 using these cards. But before that, remember to always hold the card from the curved side end to end like this. From the curved side end to end like this. Now, I will show you how I form the number 67. So, here I first take card 7 and now I will be taking 6 and hold the two cards curved side end to end. Am I getting number 67? No. So, if I keep 6 card back and with 7 card, if I take the card 60 and I hold them from curved side end to end, am I getting number 67? Yes. So, here we may conclude that number 67 is made with 60 and 7. And now, if I ask you to make a number 26, which cards will you pick up? Okay, I will help you. Suppose you first pick up a card of 6, right? Like this. Next, which card will you pick up? Card on which 2 is written or 20. Like this or like this. Friends, we need to achieve a deep understanding of place value among the children of classes 1 and 2. We need to provide learning material in which children construct the knowledge. And the construction of knowledge can be achieved if we provide lots of experiences in different contexts. So friends, let's go into the classroom and see how children handle these place value cards. Show me number 7.
children can be encouraged to look for and put together the place value cards to show numbers spoken by their peers or teacher. Also, they could be asked to expand and share the place value in the number. Initially, some children may have problems in using these cards. It is important to give enough opportunities to the learners to explore and observe these cards. Peers who have grasped the idea of using the cards may help other learners in developing their understanding. Next number will be 11. अगर हम ऐसे पकड़ेंगे तो ऐसे पकड़ेंगे तभी इलेवन मिलेगा ओके जैसे टेन एंड वन मोर मेक्स इलेवन We just saw here that how children were moving towards the concept of place value. And of course, it is not possible that all children grasp the idea of this activity conducted once in the classroom. Friends, we just saw here that how children were moving towards the concept of place value. And of course, it is not possible that all children grasp the idea of this activity conducted once in the classroom. Of course, some learning must be taking place in the mind of the children. Children think more about the incidents or experiences when provided in different contexts. So, it becomes important that we conduct the same activity in different contexts so that children's construction of the knowledge gets strengthened. Friends, we may have to repeat the activity in the classroom because for the child who was making mistake may not grasp the idea of the activity in one go. In that case, repetition will help the child to understand better. In this way, we can make them see tense in two-digit numbers. This understanding will pave the way for better understanding of place value. We hope shown activity will help you in conducting activities using place value cards. And we strongly believe that you can create and conduct much more interesting activities in the classroom for better learning experiences in which children are learning with lots of interest and joy. Hello friends, mathematics is in our daily life. Can you think of an example? You all must be thinking that mathematics is underlying in everything we do. For example, our mother puts salt and other ingredients in our dish with estimation. Milkman measures milk in liters. Carpenter measures all the dimensions for making 
the furniture. Tailor measures our different body parts for the stitching of clothes so that it gets fit to us. And even in the dance, we count the steps and moves along with the rhythm of the song and many other. Can you find more such daily activities in which mathematics is involved? Similarly, children come into the classrooms with many daily life experiences in which some mathematical understanding is involved. So, it becomes important to incorporate their experiences in the classroom learning by giving them enough scope or opportunities to share. Sometimes one child's experiences help other children to learn from. It is important to provide enough opportunity in which children start seeing relationship between mathematics and daily life. Children come into the classroom with many money related experiences as they have lots of experiences related to buying biscuits, toffees or chocolates etc. They have some understanding about money. So, these experiences can be incorporated in the classroom learning which helps them to see the relationship between classroom learning and daily life experiences. For enriching their experiences, a mathematics learning kit for classes 1 and 2 has been developed by NCERT. For providing lively environment in the classroom, a very interesting learning item is included. Play Money Play Money provides hands-on experiences of money. Children enjoy it very much. It creates lot of excitement into the classroom among the children and with such excitement we can provide learning experience to the children of classes 1 and 2. Let's see what play money bag has inside it. Play money contains laser coated notes and plastic coins. Children can't tear it. And that is why they can play and learn freely. In play money item, we have 500 rupee notes, 4 50 rupee notes, 5 20 rupee notes, 19 10 rupee notes, and 4 5 rupee coins. We also have 5 2 rupee coins and 19 1 rupee coins. With the help of play money, various learning activities can be conducted like recognition of Indian currency, addition and subtraction, representing numbers and place value. So now friends, Let's see a classroom activity in which play money is being used. Enough notes and coins have been given so that children can regroup freely while adding and subtracting amounts. Such sharing in the classroom will help all children in understanding that the same amount can be denominated using different notes and coins. Initially, activity should involve in depicting a number by using different coins and notes. Dikhao. One, one, 
वन वन लाइन से लगाओ वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स नाइन वेरी गुड At initial stage some children have understanding of recognition of coins of rupees 1 2 and 5 and notes of rupees 10 so it becomes important that children can be made familiarized with all the notes and coins of indian currency which are presently in use recognition of currency is the first task then activities on different amount making and showing can be conducted in the classroom so friends we saw in this activity recognition and denomination of various amount was focused such scope of sharing is important in the classroom learning children learn better from their peers children have tendency to use bigger amount we must encourage them to use fumble in speaking children may have their own strategies to count the total amount some may count through counting on some through counting all we must encourage and appreciate them it is important to give enough time patience is required from the teacher's part children may have different techniques to count the total amount somebody may count one some may count all The activity should be integrated with writing part of addition procedure. This would help them for better understanding of addition procedure. Encourage the children in regroup if coins become 10 or more and exchange one note of rupees 10 with 10 coins two coin de denge five five ki ek 10 rupees ka note le lenge aur ab count karo aapke paas abhi bhi kitne hain 32 okay 32 in the activity we saw how children got involved in solving the problem in which addition of two digit numbers by regrouping was shown in this activity there are three parts involved first in which children were asked to show the amounts like rupees 17 and rupees 15 second exchanging the 10 coins of rupees 1 with one note of rupees 10 thirdly writing and connecting the carry with the exchanged note of rupees 10 you must have noticed that throughout the activity teacher did not use the term carry instead children were adding and solving the problems through this activity children could learn about the addition of two digit numbers by regrouping friends such kind of daily life problems can be asked to solve in the classroom using play money so that children make sense of carry from the very beginning so that the understanding of regrouping will help in the addition of three digit as well
learning by doing or through experiences is an important and effective way of learning mathematics. How can a teacher create the learning experiences in the classroom? What kind of material is needed? Responses to all such questions and to provide experiential learning. In Mathematics Learning Kit, a very interesting learning material is included. Solid shapes. Can you recognize these? Different types of solids are included. These are cubes, cuboids, cones, cylinders and spheres. Also we have small cylinders, we can also call it a circular disc. These shapes are made up of plastic. Can you observe closely to find out with which material they are covered All these are covered with Velcro. We also see this in our shoes, clothes or toys. With the help of this, these shapes can be stuck like this. Can you observe and tell me what I have created? We can form many different objects which are look alike of real life objects. By using these solid shapes, many important mathematical concepts can be learned such as classification, sorting of 3D objects on the basis of number of surfaces, edges, corners and rolling sliding of solid shapes. Relationship between 3D objects and 2D shapes can also be learned. So, what do you think how these solid shapes help children in learning? Main objective is to provide hands-on experiences of all solid shapes so that children get opportunities to see, feel, touch the various attributes of different solid shapes like corners, faces, edges. In classes, generally children are directly exposed to two-dimensional shapes like circle, triangle, square, rectangle, etc. which they don't experience or don't relate in their life. What they directly see and experience are the real life objects like a square cake box, pencil box of rectangular shapes, ball, bangles, etc. which are three-dimensional objects. We must provide experiences of 3D objects which are available in their surroundings and then should move towards 2D shapes. It becomes easier for the child to relate one view of 3D surface of the real life object to the two-dimensional shapes. So that's why here the role of solid shapes becomes very important to provide opportunities to the children to see relationship and differences between 3D objects and 2D shapes. So, your level of curiosity must have increased to know how this really facilitates children's learning. So, let's see through an activity how we can use solid shapes in the classroom with children. During their exploration and play, children construct objects which they have observed or experienced. If asked to describe, the children would provide all the details. As the children explore and make objects using solid shapes, they intuitively learn about different attributes of different solids.
such sharing develops the feeling of acceptance and enhances the confidence among children. While children are describing what they have made, teacher can ask them questions to focus their attention on different solid shapes being used for constructing the object. Encourage children to speak on what they have made, how they have made. Encourage children to speak out and share. Encourage them to give logic and reason unhesitatingly. Can you see all these shapes placed on the table? Can you see this shape? Friends, can you observe what will happen if I push this shape with my finger? Let's see. I will push this shape now. It's sliding. If I place it from different surface and again I will push it. Again it's sliding. Let's see with a different shape. Let's see what will happen with this shape if I push this with my finger. It's rolling. If I push this this way Let's see what happens. So now I understood if a solid shape is pushed from a plane surface like in these solids from the plane surface or a plane circular surface the solid shape slides. On the other hand in this solid while pushing from this surface it is rolling. Yes, you are absolutely right. It is rolling because it has a curved surface. See? If that is so, you must be looking at this shape which is like a joker's cap. And you must be thinking what will happen, how it will move if I will push. So, let's see. It's rolling, but differently. Now, if I keep this shape like this on a plane surface and push this, now it is sliding. So, friends, we saw that curved surfaces rolls and plane surface slides on pushing. Rolling and sliding will help them learn how different surfaces can be identified by movement of the solids. Activity on rolling and sliding helps children to understand the difference between a plane surface and a curved surface. In the classroom activity with children, we saw that how teacher involved children in sorting the shapes into groups and we saw that how children sorted or divided shapes into groups with their own reasoning or logics. Through this, we saw that children do observe different attributes of solid shapes. They may not say or use words like surface, curve, edges, corner, cube, cuboid, etc. 
but they internalize some understanding about the shapes. Instead, they used words like box, roti and joker's cap for cube, circular disc and cone respectively. And that is enough at the early stage. And the important thing is that they must relate their classroom learning with daily life. Hello friends, young children play with any objects available in their surrounding, whether it's an empty shoe box, wrapper or any broken object. They associate such objects with toys and consider their own property. Children are not empty vessel or blank slates to be filled up with information and knowledge that only the school can give, as is generally believed. But they have some intuitive understanding of the world. When children enter early primary class, they bring a lot of different experiences, knowledge and some vocabulary. New learning is thus to be developed based on what the child already knows and understands. It becomes more important that their experiences find place in the classroom learning in the form of sharing. And sharing can take place when they are provided with learning material to explore and play with. To provide lively environment in the classroom, stamping containers and stamp pad has been included in the mathematics learning kit developed by NCERT for the young learners of classes 1 and 2. With the help of this learning material, many mathematical concepts of early grades can be learned. Various activities on measurement, patterns, data handling and shapes can be conducted. This kit consists of hollow plastic solids. There are two hollow cuboids and one hollow cylindrical container, semicircle shape container, one star shape container and one eye shape container and also one hollow prism shaped container. Can you observe these stamps? These stamps are in two different designs. On one stamp, fish is engraved and on the other one, a zigzag design is engraved. Now, you must be thinking, how can we use these stamps in the absence of the ink pad in the classroom? With these stamps, ink pad is also given so that children can use it easily and teacher need not arrange for the classroom activity. An interesting thing is that these stamp pads are in two different colors, blue and red. Friends, now is the time to introduce you with another interesting aspect of these containers. Let's see here. I'll show you some designs. This is the stamp pad. As I told you with two colors, blue and red. Now I'm making a pattern using this semicircle shape. This is how I have created a pattern with semicircle shape and a star. Let's create another pattern. See, I'm using a fish with blue stamp. Here it goes. A beautiful design. And now I'm using a cuboid, hollow cuboid with red color. And you can assume the fish in the aquarium. And now let me use a prism.
giving a triangle shape and then I am using a hollow cylinder with red color. This time a variety of shapes are used and here I finish the pattern with hollow cylinder giving a red circle. This is how I have created two patterns. More patterns you can create using a zigzag design. See, like this, then I may use a blue, then again a red. Uh, sorry, I did not wipe it. Anyways, let us create something else. Uh, what is left? Oh, this eye shape is left. Is it nice? Okay, let us create something with this now using another hollow cuboid. And again an eye shape. Mm, okay, uh, let me take two eye shape now. Again this hollow cuboid. Can you see the change in the pattern? One eye shape, two eye shape and this time I am going to take three eye shapes and just one cuboid giving a square shape. Can you guess how many eyes I am going to make? Yes, you are right, four. Here it goes. I hope you have enjoyed these patterns. You can also make such patterns using these hollow shape containers and the stamp pad. All these containers work as a stamp using ink. Like this, you can create your own patterns. So friends, let's peep into the classroom and observe how children handle it and learn. It is important to give enough time and space for creating designs. Here it is also important to listen and encourage their ideas or reasons for creating designs. Here, children initiated to form a pattern and could describe the pattern. Objective of the activity were to familiarize all the children with different containers, to provide opportunity to manipulate all the containers and look at the different view of a hollow object like cube, cuboid, prism, etc to provide intuitive understanding about plane shapes like square, rectangle, triangle, circle and some irregular shapes. Through this activity, teacher tried to provide an opportunity to see the relation between 2D shapes and 3D objects through stamping containers. Friends, let's see another interesting classroom activity on capacity measurement. क्या आप गैस कर सकते हैं कि कितनी चम्मच पानी भरने पर ये कंटेनर फुल हो जाएगा? Estimating the capacity in terms of smaller containers and then verifying it by actual measurement makes the learning of measurement of capacity much more interesting and challenging.
Welcome back friends. In the classroom activity, we saw how the simple activity of finding the capacity of container in terms of number of spoon full of water it can hold become more interesting to the children when they were first asked to estimate the number of spoon full of water it can hold and then verify the actual capacity of the container. Children were excited to know the actual capacity. Then later they were asked to see the relationship among the containers of different shapes. At early primary classes, such learning environment and opportunities boosts the confidence and increases children's interest towards learning. Such activities will help the children in learning the important mathematics concepts like estimation and measurement of capacity, patterns, data handling, relationship between 2D shapes and 3D objects. We believe that you will be able to conduct much more interesting activities in which each child learns in a joyful manner. Hello friends, estimation and measurement are another important mathematical theme of early classes. Concrete learning material experiences have to be provided in order to make the children relate their learning with daily life. A string has been provided in mathematics learning kit to be used for the learning purpose. Let's see, can you estimate what is the length of this string? Most of you may estimate it as 1 meter long because you may have used 1 meter length in different contexts in your life and could estimate 1 meter length. Friends, the main objective to provide this string is that child develops the estimation skills and accumulates lots of experiences regarding understanding of length from the very beginning. This one meter long string is marked in two colors, red and white. Each colored part is 10 centimeter long. In the early classroom, it is not necessary to use the words meter or centimeter, but can be used in the classroom as one complete string and each part as one unit. Like if I measure one side of this book, I can say length of the side of the book is 1 red unit, 1 white unit and a little less than third unit. So I can say the length of the side of this book is little less than three units. Similarly, in the classroom, children can be asked to measure table, door, board, notebook, pencil box, etc. using non-standard, non-uniform units like fingers. See, four fingers Four more makes it eight fingers, eight plus four, twelve fingers and twelve plus four, sixteen fingers. So I can say the length of the side of this book is sixteen fingers or they can use hand span. One and a half hand span will be the side of this book or they can use foot length. Then using non-standard but uniform unit like a pen, one pen, two pens approximately. The length of the side of this book is one plus one that is approximately two pens 
or they can use U clips or any uniform objects they can use which is available in surrounding and let children explain how they are measuring. So friends, let's go into the classroom and see how children are involved. Using body parts to measure length create situations where length of the same object varies due to variations in measuring standards. Such a situation creates a need for a uniform unit of length with which every child should measure the length of the object around him or her. Once the child has experienced all such situations, standard measure of length can be introduced on first estimating the length and then verifying it through actual measurement. Creates a challenge to all the students and makes the measurement much more interesting and fun. करते हैं हम एक रस्सी ले लेते हैं Welcome back friends, after the classroom activities, the teacher may initiate the discussion about the need of standard units for measuring length. In early primary classes, it is important to make them feel or realize the need and importance of standard unit for measurement and let children explain how they are measuring. and what are the challenges they are facing as at some point of time they will find differences in terms of length of the same objects due to non-standard units. Children may be able to realize and share that accuracy at the time of measuring by repeating the unit is important. At that point of time the importance of standard units can be pointed out in the classroom. Hands-on experiences will provide foundation for developing understanding about measurement of length. To reach to the introduction of the string may require repetition of the activity in different contexts and time of some days.
after providing many experiences in different contexts, children can be introduced with meter and later can use as 1 meter long, 2 meter long, etc. Hello friends, most of the teachers think that teaching at early primary classes is very easy and it includes teaching of numbers mainly. But friends, here it is important to understand that mathematics does not include numbers only. Learning mathematics also includes understanding of different shapes and its various aspects like corners, edges and surfaces in early primary mathematics. Keeping all these in mind and to provide such hands-on experience to each child, a very interesting and attractive learning item has been included in the mathematics learning kit. So this learning material is named as tiles. Let me show you. Let's see. Oh, these are so many. This learning material contains various shapes like triangle, circle, hexagon, rhombus, and square. And each shape is in three sizes and in three colors that is red, blue and yellow. Total number of tiles is 240 and the number of medium size shape is kept maximum for tessellation purpose. As you can see we have classified this material according to different colors, sizes and shapes. Like you can see here, hexagon shape in three different sizes of red color. And here, hexagonal shape of three different sizes in yellow color. And you can see the medium size is kept maximum for tessellation purpose. This material is made up of Eva rubber which is very light and for the child's safety purpose, it is non-toxic. Along with this, two trays have been included. One is hexagon in shape and the other is square shape for tessellation purpose. And the most interesting attribute of these shapes is that these shapes can stick to any surface with the help of water like on the wall, floor, furniture, on iron, etc. Let me show you. So here I have water and I'm going to make a pattern with these shapes, sticking them using a little water with these different color triangles of same size. Let's see. If I can stick them, I'm using just a little water and trying to make a pattern with different triangles. Let's see. Okay, I'll use red one. This is my kind of star using all the triangles. Let's see, are they sticked? Yes, it is. See? It's not falling. Let's go into the classroom and see with what children are playing.
free play will allow the children to explore the different attributes of tiles, like colors, shapes and sizes. Children can be encouraged to share about on basis of which attribute they have sorted and classified the tiles. Here we saw that how children got involved in the classification of tiles. Children classified the tiles first on the basis of color, then on the basis of shapes and with the help of the prompting of questions by teacher, children further classified on the basis of sizes. To grasp all the aspects, each child may take time according to their own pace of learning. Some may be able to do the same in one day, others may take some more time to be able to see all the aspects of tiles. So, we need to be careful not to get impatient while a child is exploring. It becomes important that children get a lot of time for free play and exploration. For the children to construct knowledge and understanding of shapes, different activities in different contexts can be conducted in the classroom for some days. Friends, recognizing, describing and then extending are the important aspect for the understanding of patterns. It is important that children are provided with material for free play and given enough time to explore. As thinking is a continuous process, children do think and try the same activity later at home or next day. This kind of exploration strengthens one's understanding and that's how they construct their knowledge. A tessellation is created when a shape is repeated over and over again covering a plane without any gaps or overlaps. A tessellation of triangles. I'll show you. Let me use yellow. This is how I am creating a tessellation using triangles. Here only I will show you another tessellation of squares. Okay, this time I will use blue. Uh, okay, I will show you in this tray. This was a tessellation of triangles and now here we have a tessellation of squares. Okay, I will use two colors. Oh, it's a beautiful pattern being made. This is how. Let's make another tessellation of hexagons. Okay. Let me take these bigger hexagons. And here if I arrange them... somewhat like this. Friends, when you look at these three samples, you can easily notice that the squares are lined up with each other while the triangles and hexagons are not. Also, if you look at six triangles at a time, they form a hexagon. So, the tiling of triangles and the tiling of hexagons are similar. 
let us see this is a bigger hexagon I have and I am arranging 6 triangles on this hexagon. So, 6 triangles overlapping the big hexagon making a hexagon. So, the tiling of triangles and the tiling of hexagons are similar and they cannot be formed by directly lining shapes up under each other. A slide is involved. Such activities will help them to construct the knowledge about important aspects of shapes and also provides scope for creativity. Friends, we believe that you will be able to conduct much more interesting activities and thereby creating more lively environment for the learning in which each child is learning joyfully. Thank you.